Hi, this is Dalton with GeoMarvel. Today's tutorial will cover Model Builder in ArcGIS Pro. Our goal is to create a geoprocessing tool using Model Builder to identify current wildfires within a set distance of urban areas in the United States. Our final geoprocessing tool will move through the following steps. Selecting a US state, which we'll set as a parameter, exporting the chosen state as a feature class, selecting all urban areas within that chosen state, and exporting those as a feature class of their own, creating a buffer around those chosen urban areas, selecting by location to identify all current wildfires within those buffers that have been generated around urban areas, and finally exporting wildfire points to a feature class that meet the requirements of being within a set distance of an urban area. So to get started, we'll go to the Analysis tab up top and click on the Model Builder tool. This will give us a blank slate to start building our model. So first we're going to search for a tool called Select Layer by Attributes. And we can drag that right into our canvas. And now double clicking on this will allow us to choose our input rows. We'll choose US States. And you can see this model now has an input of US States and from that layer, we will select by attributes and rearrange as desired here to give it a clean look and feel. And we're also going to add a feature class to feature class tool. This will take our selection and ultimately create a, an actual feature class out of it. And we have our input geodatabase, which is our model builder GDB on the right. And then we get to set our output feature class. So dragging the arrow from US states to feature class to feature class, we can set that as our input features and we can set an output feature name of US state output. Now at any point we can go ahead and save this model. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this model, give it a descriptive name, wildfire model builder. And double clicking on select layer by attributes, you can see we can put in a custom expression. So if we right click, go to create variable from parameter and choose expression, we have a parameter that we have added to our model builder. This is an input value in the geoprocessing tool and result. So our goal here is to set up an expression that allows the user to choose the state name that they're interested in. So we'll pick a placeholder value of Colorado and right click and set that as a parameter. Now with that P in the top right corner, you can see our parameter is set. And clicking the check mark up top, we can validate, make sure our model is valid, and then let's go ahead and try running our model as is. So if we double click wildfire model builder, you can see our geoprocessing tool lets us pick a state name. And if we run that tool, Then refresh our geodatabase to look at our output feature. And let's add that to the map. And if we zoom to layer, there's the state of Alaska, our chosen state for our model builder. So, so far so good, our model is in a good spot. And going back to our model builder, let's go ahead and add another tool. We're going to select layer by location. And double clicking here, we can choose our input features. So we're going to pick US urban areas and hit OK. So this will be our input feature. And we can freely rearrange our model to make a little more space here. And our selecting features will be the US state output feature class that we just generated from our previous section of the tool. So this will select all US urban areas within that output feature class state. And now that we've selected our urban areas, let's go ahead and generate a feature class here again. So feature class to feature class, let's bring that tool in. And what we want to do is take our selected US urban areas and generate a feature class that we can continue to use in our model. So we'll set the selected features as the input features. 
and we will choose an output name of urban area selected state. So now let's save our model builder geoprocessing tool and refresh our toolbox and go ahead and run this tool. So we'll go state name Colorado and run the tool. You can see it's complete. So we'll go back to catalog, refresh our geo database to see the latest layer that's been added, urban areas selected state. So let's add this to our map. And you can see Colorado and the associated urban areas have been selected here. Let's go ahead and clear that selection and turn off the urban areas layer and turn on the filtered layers. So there it is, urban areas within the state of Colorado. So our tool is working as expected so far. Now our goal is to identify wildfires within a radius of urban areas. So you can see our wildfires here and proximity to urban areas there. But let's go ahead and add a buffer to our urban areas. So we'll go ahead and look for our buffer tool. Let's add that to our model. And now from our urban area selected state feature class output, we'll set the input features as the urban areas output. And then you see we can set a distance value. So we'll put in a default of 10 miles around urban areas here. And we'll keep the default values there, hit OK. And our output will be the buffer area for the urban areas in our selected state. But let's update this naming convention to buffer. And right clicking the buffer tool here, let's go ahead and create a parameter. So we're going to create a variable from parameter and we're going to do the distance value. And then we right click this and we'll set as parameter. So in the final geoprocessing tool, this is going to allow the end user to set their desired parameter and search radius for proximity of fires within urban areas. So here let's put a range of 12 miles. So we'll put a 12 mile, mile buffer on urban areas in Colorado. All right, with our tool complete, let's go ahead and refresh our geo database. And let's bring in our buffer output. So you can see our urban areas. And here are the urban areas within Colorado with a 12 mile buffer. And let's go ahead and add another tool here. Let's select layer by location. So here's where we're going to bring in our current wildfire data. So this is directly from the Living Atlas. USA current wildfires and locations. That'll be our input data. And our selecting features will be our urban area buffer output. So now we are going to identify US wildfires within our selected state and urban area buffer regions. And we'll add another feature class to feature class tool here to output our US wildfire selection into an actual feature class. So dragging the arrow to the right, we will set the US active wildfire incidents as our input features and choose an output name of wildfires within urban buffer. Now let's go ahead and save, validate, and run our tool. Okay, we'll refresh our toolbox and run our wildfire model builder tool. So we'll use the state of Colorado and go ahead and use the default 10 miles. Let's go ahead and run the tool. Okay, now that the tool is completed, let's go ahead and refresh our geo database and get our wildfires within urban buffer layer and add it to the map. So you can see two points on the map. So let's update our symbology to make these a little clearer. And you can see our final output. We have two selected fires that are within a 10 mile buffer of urban areas in Colorado. Now let's go ahead and run the tool again and let's choose a brand new state and see what our output looks like. So let's choose New Mexico. We'll keep the 10 mile buffer radius and we'll let it run. All right, let's go back to our geodatabase, refresh, and 
grab our output layer again. We'll turn off the wildfires layer and turn on our point, which there you can see is in close proximity to urban areas just outside of Santa Fe. And clicking on the attribute, this is directly from that wildfires layer so we can see the fire discovery date time and some other details relevant to this active wildfire. Now let's remove our layer, turn our wildfire layer back on and let's pick another state to run the tool on. So let's go ahead and run it for Minnesota. So we'll choose our state and let's run the tool. And our tool is completed, so let's clear our selection, refresh our geodatabase, and bring in that wildfire output layer. And here you can see, with updated symbology, the two points in Minnesota highlighting active wildfires that are in a 10 mile buffer radius of urban areas. So this has been a brief overview of the model builder workflow and geoprocessing tool creation within ArcGIS Pro. We have successfully created a model that allows a user to select a given state, choose a buffer radius, and choose wildfires that are within that proximity of urban areas in the United States. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, comment, or subscribe to our GeoMarvel Live YouTube channel, and feel free to check out our other videos. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.